speaking of dialogue, do, you, uh, do any of you consciously try to fulfill the standards of the Bechdel Bell test where if you, um, you try to make two women to have a conversation that isn't about a man in your work? Oh, I never think about things like that. Wait, what is this now? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I only encountered that recent, recently. What's the question? The, the Bechdel test is a, a... At least two women who talk to each other about something other than a man. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't think that comes up as much in fantasy and science fiction. <laughs> you have you, you, you a monster coming through a door. You have so many other things <laughs> going on that usually you have plenty of stuff for your characters to talk about. And, I don't think, at least for, maybe for men, if they're putting, if they're trying to put in women and they don't quite understand them, um, but for us as women, I think we don't we don't run into that. And, and actually, I actually want to say something about that. I was talking earlier about the, the problem of stereotypes and, and culture. One of the things that goes on nowadays is they say to people, write what you know, but you have to hit all the expected genres and racial types. So you have to have. To a woman, a boy and a girl in that book, even though you're a dad and you only know boys. And you just wrote two really good boys, but we're not going to let you publish that. You have to put a girl in there. Well, at that point, that guy's just screwed. Because he doesn't know little girls, and he has to have one in the book. If he's going to write what he knows, he's going to stick with boys. If he's going to put a girl in, she's not going to be like what we think a girl is because he doesn't have that experience. And that's something we keep running into, I think, as writers nowadays, trying to kind of both stretch the envelope to have more different types of characters and try to make our characters true what they would really be like. And, and there, again, there's, you know, some people are lucky. They happen to have a lot of experience. Other people have three boys. <laughs> I had to go to China to get a girl so that I wasn't stuck with three boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like on, on the heels of that, it's like, I was going to ask sort of, of all the panelists here when we're talking about like what's appropriate for a girl of a certain age, or what's appropriate for, for a boy of a certain age, what dialogue you put in their mouth and the rest of it, but just the whole thing talking about the giggling or being giddy or whatever, if you put that in a male's character, let's just face it, everybody you're gonna think that there's a homosexuality or some either or. So just like, I hate to say it like this way, but why do people think like Rainbow Dash is a lesbian? Why, because she's tough. She's, you know, she wants to do all that stuff. But how can you get away with not having the reader kind of read that in as a subcontext with your with your particular character, especially if say that boy and a girl, but he's kind of giddy and she's kind of tough. So what what happens there? You know what I mean? It's like how can you get away with with that and make them into something that the reader's like doesn't really expect? One of the luxuries that we have as we're writing is that we have dialogue to convey their actions, but we usually have some way of getting inside their head. It's either first person or third person, but there's some way of saying what they're thinking at the same time that they're acting. Mm -hmm. So if our male character giggles and nobody in the entire room reacts to that, which would be odd, um, then um, he can say, I'm so relieved to be in a company where I can be myself. There are ways of building the character beyond what the specific actions are, male or female. Well, the, probably, probably the favorite character of most readers in my trilogy is the, the crazy brother who is in fact kind of giggly and wild because it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But he also has moments where the sadness of the fact that he knows he's, he was a really intelligent guy, he's lost his mind. And if you have these moments where the character gets to reveal something of what makes them the way they are, there are plenty of time girls, and plenty of time girls who grew up to be, you know, normal women, married guys, have kids, etc. But there's something that makes them feel that they want to be that way. And there, are, and I have, you know, some guys who are what we tend to think of maybe as a gay stereotype, but they're not. Mm -hmm. And I know some guys who are gay guys who you wouldn't be able to tell. They're on a kind of normal. Each of those it's things, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, what I mean is they're, they're, they don't have the things that we think of as the stereotypes. They just act in a way that's the way the other guys around them act. Uh, and I have a friend who we all knew he was gay from when he was little because he had those characteristics, and in fact he was. So I mean, he, all these things are out there, and each individual has their, their particulars that came together. 
And the, the writer's job is to find those particulars, and it's partly uh, talent. In other words, we're going to try to put on stage why this horse is tough and why this guy is a little gentler than mm -hmm. other guys. But it's partially luck, too. Sometimes we just mess up because we telegraph something we didn't mean to telegraph. Yeah. respond to her um, comment about um, women acting inappropriately in fandom or conventions or whatever. A um, couple come to mind immediately from uh, a couple of three decades back. And um, they were um, different, in, in, they, they were constantly being told they were acting inappropriately uh, by the people that were closest to them. Um, it, Sometimes made an effect and sometimes didn't. But um, fandom, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, is a very accepting community, and we keep trying. But you know, we don't give up on people easily. Um, now, I have a question for you guys, and I'm going to wrap this into a very odd location because I'm not here.